This week's lesson is how can we help the heart? Your keywords for this week's lesson is valve, pacemaker, artificial heart. Your outcomes for this lesson is to ensure that you can describe how the heart keeps rhythm, how pacemakers, stents and artificial hearts can be used. So as your starter, if your heart beats 60 times per minute, how many beats would there be in a year? So think what values you need to use and then come up with an answer. The answer will be revealed shortly. So the answer you were looking for would be just over 30 million beats per year. Your own science teacher will decide whether you're going to complete this activity. So if you're going to complete this activity, you can click pause, but I'm going to explain what you need to do first. So we'll be looking at stent, valve replacement, pacemaker, heart transplant slash artificial heart. You would need to state what is it? Why would you need it? How does it work? Any advantages and disadvantages? So you may want to pause this and use the internet to have a research of valid resources, have a look on BBC Bite Size and a few other ones, and use this table format to put in key points to cover these questions. Again, your teacher may decide that they want you to do something else. An extension question is, what is heart bypass surgery? So once you've completed the table, there is an extension task of what is heart bypass surgery. Problems with blood flow. Reduced flow due to narrowing of the arteries, build up of fatty deposits, atherosclerosis. Supply of oxygen to the heart itself can be painful, which is known as angina. That can cause a heart attack or be fatal. The figure shown on the screen is the muscles of the heart which work hard so they need a good supply of oxygen and glucose. Glucose is the scientific name for sugar. This is supplied by the blood in the coronary arteries. So as you can see here, you've got the coronary arteries there, shown by the laser pointer here and along here. And then shown on an actual screen of the heart in more detail of our own heart, the coronary artery here, here and here. Doctors often solve the problem of coronary heart disease with a stent. The stent shown here, mesh is inserted with a balloon inside, balloon is inflated to open the mesh, artery is held open to increase blood supply, it can also be used to deliver drugs to prevent clotting. Doctors can put a stent in place without a general anaesthetic. Stents can be used to open up a block artery almost anywhere in the body. Many stents, as said earlier, release the drugs to prevent clotting, although some studies suggest that benefits do not justify the additional expense. Heart bypass surgery. Blocked arteries can be replaced with veins from other parts of the body. Increasingly, doctors prescribe statins to anyone at risk from cardiovascular disease. They reduce blood cholesterol and this slows down the rate at which fatty material is deposited in the coronary arteries. So to shorten that down, it's a drug that's often prescribed to reduce blood cholesterol, which ultimately prevents heart disease. The pacemaker region controls the basic rhythm of your heart. The beat starts in the right atrium in a special group of cells. The natural pacemaker regions of the heart are very complex. Doctors and scientists are developing even more complex pacemakers to try and mimic the natural responses of the heart as closely as possible. To go into more detail, specialist fibres conduct the electrical activity through the tissues of the heart. If the rhythm is too slow, not enough oxygen is delivered. If the rhythm is too fast, the blood cannot pump properly. Earlier you were shown the natural pacemaker. If that stops working properly, it can cause serious problems. So as we discussed earlier, if the heart beats too slowly, the person does not get enough oxygen. If the heart beats too fast, it cannot pump properly. 
So this is just showing you in detail what an artificial pacemaker looks like. An artificial pacemaker weighs between 20 to 50 grams. It can be attached using two wires. It sends strong regular electrical signals to keep the heart's rhythm. Modern pacemakers only produce a signal when needed so that they can last a long time. A bit of detail on valves. Valves must open and close many times to withstand great pressure. Sometimes they become leaky, stiff or do not open properly. Doctors can fit titanium or polymer valves which last a long time. Patients need to take anti-clotting drugs. Transplanted valves from human donors and animals do not need drugs but do not last as long, so roughly between 12 and 15 years. Artificial hearts. Artificial hearts treat heart failure. When you're waiting for a donor, it involves tissue matching availability. An artificial heart is a temporary measure. It can be used to give the heart a rest. The picture shown on the right uses air pressure to pump blood around the body. In 2011, 40 year old Matthew Green became the first UK patient to leave hospital and go home with a completely artificial heart carried in a backpack. This kept him alive for two years until he had a heart transplant and no longer needed his life saving machine. If towards the start of the PowerPoint you have completed the table, here is a table that is completed with all of the answers, so you could green pen this, or if you didn't complete the table due to your teacher telling you not to, this is a good example so that you understand what stents, valve replacement, pacemaker and a heart transplant and artificial heart, what they are, what they would need, how does it work and their advantages and disadvantages which is their good points and bad points. So from this lesson the key points I want you to take from it are damaged heart valves can be replaced using biological or mechanical valves. The resting heart rate is controlled by a group of cells in the right atrium that form a natural pacemaker. Artificial pacemakers are electrical devices used to correct irregularities in the heart rhythm and artificial hearts are occasionally used to keep patients alive while they wait for a transplant or for their heart to, rec to rest as an aid to recovery.